Germany in World War II. Although it was not manufactured in large quantities, it was one of the most powerful anti-aircraft guns of its era. The development of this type of gun began in 1936 and was designed and developed by Rainmetal. The first prototype gun was put to the test in late 1937 and successfully passed the tests. The gun weighed nearly 12 tons in combat condition, resulting in its barrel having to be removed when transported. However, tests showed that this method did not work at all, and in 1938 the solution was abandoned. In the end, Rainmetal decided to simplify the firing platform, and for this purpose such a gun had to be firmly fixed to a cement slab. The total weight of the unit reached 26.5 tons, making it completely impossible to transport it across borders. However, in the end, this gun went into production in 1942. It is mainly used for fixed-point defense. For twin models were installed in ZOO anti-aircraft turrets, and some were installed in Berlin, Hamburg, and Vienna. About 200 doors were installed on the railcars, giving them some mobility. This gun fires a 27.9 kg shell and has a muzzle velocity of 880 meters per second and a maximum range of up to 14,800 m, compared to the 88 mm anti-aircraft gun, the 12.8 cm gun had a charge four times higher than the 8.8 .8 cm gun. So, the muzzle velocity of the 12.8 cm gun was faster. Duplex 12.8 cm Flak 40, duplex model, mainly mounted on anti-aircraft turrets. The rate of fire can reach 20 rounds slash min. In 1942, a 10-door duplex model was put into production. In addition, eight doors were produced in 1943. By February 1945, a total of 34 doors had been produced of this model. 12.8 cm Pack 40, a derivative anti-tank gun. But in the bidding was defeated by the 12.8 cm Pack 44 of Krupp. Finally, the 12.8 cm Pack 40 was installed on a prototype of the Sturamir self-propelled gun.